Thanks for staying so long. It's very nice of you to uh, pay the attention still. Um, I'm from Collaborative Drug Discovery. The name is slightly misleading. We are actually not a drug discovery company. We are a software company. And uh, we, uh, I, I want to talk about how we enable collaborations. Open source, we've talked about this here, this session, um, is, is a, is a German would say, right, it's, felt. It's, a, it's, a, it's a big story, right? This, it can mean a lot of things. So uh, we don't do open source as the software community does it. And as you know, we heard in the very first talk today, that is truly open source. What we support is open innovation, I would say. Open science, you know, these are the kind of words that I would rather choose than open source for several reasons. It's a long discussion. One can talk about this <laughs> very, for many hours. And um, so now I don't know how to use technology, which is always good when you're selling software. So CDD World comes really, f our founder was Barry Boone, or is still Barry Boonen. And his idea was to create a platform to enable collaborative drug discovery. His dream in the beginning was truly to ch share all the compounds and all the data. Clearly, you know, it, it isn't as easy as it sounds because people are hesitant to share all their data, obviously, because for various reasons, whether that is an academic who wants to publish or whether it's a company who needs to have IP, it's not that easy. We have been very fortunate to have had the support of uh, organizations that uh, funded some of our development, among, and that is particularly strong from the neglected disease community, which is why I'm so happy to be here because the collaborative approach for drug discovery really started with, uh, in, as far as I can tell, very strongly with the neglected disease community. Uh, CDD has been around for 10 years, so we started relatively early. Our software was always built to support those types of collaborations. But really important is this project as well, the NIH blueprint, because it forced us to, uh, to introduce some real business rules and security measures that that are mandatory for the NIH, for their open science. It's not open source. It's, it's still all pretty locked up unless you raise your hand and say, okay, I'm happy to publish that data, which we then support as well. But it's not that we just invite people to just dump all the data somewhere and, and th there you go. So Kindred, we heard about this today as well, which uh, I'm very happy about. Of course, that's, uh, that's one of the latest uh, consortia that we are now a provider for to, uh, to help them with their data management. No, I can't use it, <laughs> so I use this. So yeah, so it, most, we have heard about this today a lot, so I don't really want to talk much more about this. The, uh, the, the uh, TB drug accelerator, there's a number of labs that use the CDD vault to manage their compound batches and their biological assay data, and uh, we are very fortunate to be part of this. Um, so what, what is behind CDD? What is our philosophy? We really want to enable collaborators to share their data in real time. Easy, it's an application that is made for scientists. It's not something you have to implement. It's not something that um, you need an IT department for. It's really for academics and virtual biotechs for the neglected disease community that don't have big funds to go out and, and start a big project which is called data integration or implementation. B, this is really important. Again, I'm stressing the fact that it's so closed in that sense. This, this is paramount, that people are able to control who sees the data. So, it's, so people can actually start to visit in their own private space before they're promoted to other people. Now, this has different effects doing this. One of the things that we see is happening is a, you, you, you share it with everybody because you're on a consortium and you're happy that everybody sees it. Another way to, to, uh, to use this facility is to use it as a way to schedule your projects. Because collaborative projects, as far as I can tell, are not easy to manage. Who does what when? Have they done the job? Do I know what has been done? Can I easily find out what I'm waiting for? These are the kind of problems that we see. And, um, and that's using this sharing facility where you promote data to be seen by other people. You can also use that to promote it, A, to be tested, for instance, for your compounds to be 
test it somewhere because you make it visible to the person who's supposed to test it. Or you can then also use that because you will get alerted when that person has entered some data into the database again. So there are a lot of collaborative features here for people to work together and to not have to uh, send an email, hi, how are you? I hope your holiday was nice. Have you, have you come around to test my compound? They, they can do this in the background without having to bother everyone with an email. So these are the, the that's really behind the CDD world. And where we are very strong. Of course, there's competition. There are other vendors that, that offer similar tools, but uh, that's where we believe we are quite strong. So we, we, we can help people to manage their whole data um, enterprise-wide, but having said that, our customers are academics, virtual biotech, and very rarely some, some large companies. Um, we do now pay more attention to visualization, searching, and uh, analyzing your data. We see that the CDD world or data management becomes, of course, more important. The more data, the more complex your data gets. So I sometimes say it's from long and skinny, where you have a lot of compounds with just a few data points when it becomes short and fat, and then you really want to understand what does, it, what does my data tell us. So we have introduced some visualization features. We also have started to look more or better out for presentation because that's important for everyone who is dependent on grants and wants to present. Um, so we, we do have full chemical intelligence. We rely on, on Chemexon for that one. I already mentioned the collaborative features, and then the free public access. So I've got some slides later on, I think. Oh, no, here it is. So that's where we are open. So we, we, we are not a curation company. We, we do not curate data, but we help people publish data. So if people want to have, say, or if a grant provider is also m making it mandatory to publish data, you could do it with the CDD world. We can, we, we have, we have a, we help people publish that data. It's then free to browse and it's also free to publish. There is no fee on either end. And um, some examples that we have loaded recently is some um, AstraZeneca public Campbell data, some Ebola data, and some paras uh, parasitic data. Um, we always give the full references. There are links to the papers if they're available, and, and we help people. We, we will also answer inquiries about this. So that is something where you can register for free and browse. That is our, that's the contribution, the biggest contribution in terms of open science. I'm really careful how I phrase all of this because I know that this is, is, an, is a touchy subject. So now just a few things here. So, so these are the projects. These are the public data sets. The project means that I have uh, partitioned data and I can only search across the data that I have been um, given access to. We have the full search uh, facilities. So you can build your queries interactively. You also have the, our users have the ability to restrict the privileges you know, across all data sets, across all data. So for instance, this. This read-only is, is important. Having said that, I mean, it's people always, it's, it's security is a big issue, right? So with open innovation, open science, security is an issue. Am I, 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 I want to share my data, but I don't want to share my data with everybody, right? So I want to only share to the data, to the people that I trust. Now, that's what we try to help people, but there's always a human factor. Everybody knows how to do print screen. So it's, it's not... Software can only help so much. There will be a, there is always a level of compliance that the organizations will have to enforce. But we do have audit, audit facilities as well. So, and data mining is pretty heterogeneous. So we have the chemistry and we can do all the biological IC50 curves and, and things like this. Um, yeah, you, so you can add all sorts of biochemical data and you can look at your plates because Collaboration, databases, databases are only as good as the data that is in it. And uh, you have to make it usable for users so that they are happy to put data into it because um, otherwise they won't. And then of course the database isn't good and then the whole, you know, the whole concept of collaborative data sharing falls down. And 
making a database good means not just easy to import data, which we have worked hard to make that easy, but also what am I learning now? I put data in, but I want to get something back as well, which is also this whole concept of open innovation. People will enter into collaboration to open innovation projects if they know I put something in, but I get something back as well. So, uh, yeah, so, by, so screening workflows, I mean, I don't want to bore you with this because, <laughs> so that's for the biologists. They can do all sorts of jobs in the, in the software. If you want to know more, then I'm more than happy to answer any questions. But uh, so that's, that's CDD world for collaborative working to help people with open innovation, open science, and our contribution to uh, open source are the public data sets and, you know, and how much we can help people with that. Thank you. <laughs>